Good morning and welcome to Buzz. My name is Hannah. And I'm Charlotte and we will be your host for this morning. Please join us for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our student from Fernley Mission Statement. At RGS, we are learning today and will lead us tomorrow. Today is Friday, January 29th, and we're on a day one rotation. For lunch today, we will be having pizza, salad, and cookies. We want to wish a horn and happy birthday to Hazel Ocampo and Isaac Sylvester. Have a great birthday. It's Friday, so let's check out our house challenge for this week. Welcome back, Hornets. We are in the official Hornet Dome again, and we have the second graders with us today. Today they're going to be trying to keep the balloons off the ground. They're going to start with one and maybe go all the way to four. How long is this competition going to last? No idea. We'll see how athletic they are and how calculating they are when they hit the balloons. Before we start, we've got to find out who we have from the second grade. From Equinus, we have Chips. From Amica. From Saludum. And from Beerus. Awesome. In just a minute, we'll get them going. Cheer them on, houses. Let's see how it goes. All right, well, that was fun. And I tell you what, I was hoping to see the third or fourth balloon come in and have some real chaos, but that really threw him for a loop. When it all came down to the end, it was two seconds difference. And the winner earning 20 points this week and a much needed win, House Amica. Thank you. Take a bow. There we go. Can't wait to find out what the standings are for this week. We'll send it over to the sock puppets for that. In fourth place, salute him with 413 points. In third place, House Viribus with 439 points. In second place, House Amica with 456 points. And in first place, House Equitus with 497 points. Back to you, girls. Now it's time for the joke of the day. What do you call the world's smallest Valentine card? I don't know, what do you call the world's smallest Valentine card? A Valentine. Thanks and have a great day.